What is up players, it's Warboss here from this mug. Welcome to my May Painting Challenge 2015 wrap up in June. I got some Iron Hands Vanguard veterans to show you guys today. So let's take a look. Fury, not to be confused with Guy Fieri. Uh, I love having my Micron Arts Pen 0 .005 to do all the fine writing. Legio on the shield there. I also did some freehand inscriptions on a lot of these guys. This is um, these guys were commissioned at the highest level, so uh, the, the the best kind of quality I could produce. And that's basically just adding in extra highlights, extra shades and washes, um, doing things like highlighting the the gold on the models with a little bit of silver. Ferris written under that eagle there. Uh, you can tell that blue is the main spot color. I'm using blue, the dark blue, to highlight all of the armor pieces, all the edges, as well as the cold ice blue on the helmet for the islands. And these models are just really, really cool. The, the bits, just really amazing. The amount of detail the Vanguard veterans have is just really just fantastic. Honor on the shield, uh, iron down here on the leg. I think I wrote here, yeah. I don't know if you can see it. Let's see if we can zoom in Iron Wrath on that side. And on this side I have, yes, you can definitely see a little bit better, Imperium. So uh, it definitely requires a steady hand when you're writing the free hand on, but you know, with a little bit of practice, it's it's pretty pretty simple. It's an easy skill to get better at, and one that I'm really pleased with. The lightning claws on these guys were done with a kind of um, I would say modified technique to my crystal sword technique which is basically build up from a cold blue to a white and I think I used Stegadon scale green and then Sotek green you can definitely tell when you look at it up close and then Lothurn blue, Teclis blue, one of those light ice blue colors and then Othwan gray for the for the white and then just do like little streaks of Sorry, let's see if we can focus. Streaks of white paint. And another tip that um, I, I tried for this War Master level paint job is that I painted all of the claws with dark blue. And then, let's see if it looks a little bit better if I hold it at this angle, I think. Or easier. And then I did the highlighting colors, but in different areas. So down the middle, towards the tip, towards the tip, down the middle. And then if you highlight that way, it becomes more apparent that the highlight looks like it's playing with the light source. And uh, I don't know if you can tell too clearly, but it's really uh, a great way to set your model apart. The um, Iron Hands insignia was added and then painted over. A little bit of, a little bit of crease there. And um, when you paint over, the transfer, what it does is it creates a great effect of looking painted on. And let's see if I can show you. This guy definitely kind of shows that off. It doesn't appear as shiny and translucent and appears more natural. And uh, the more highlights you add, the better. With a color scheme like the Iron Hands, there's not too much you can do because the models themselves are black and the transfers themselves are supposed to be white. So if you do white highlights, then gradually building up from a light gray to a white is probably the best way to do it. But if you have something like a color transfer, then it's a lot easier to build up the colors and highlights. Say if you have an Eldar model, I think uh, Chaos Space Marines also have good colored transfers. But the uh, yeah, Space Marines tend to have white because they're so I guess, uh, utilitarian and functional. 
which is why you have to go into the model and do techniques that will bring out the various parts of it. I, wa I wanted the lightning claws to really look like they pop out and um, any part that's white or bright silver as well because you know there's only so much you can do with the model that's painted predominantly in black. The last model I have to show you is a converted model. It is the sergeant, I believe, of the Vanguard veterans, but it was given the sword arm from the Emperor's Champion. Now, the Emperor's Champion model itself has been converted into a commander model, which I'm going to show you. It's basically taken the body and given a jump pack and a an alternate right right arm. So this arm, because he wasn't going to use it, he put it onto this model for painting. I did a, let's see if we can zoom in a little bit closer, for the color scheme for this guy's skin, I wanted to do a sickly, unhealthy, um, pallid, gray flesh tone, like kind of almost like bloodless. And if you look at the uh, artwork for the Iron Hands Marines in any of the Games Workshop or Fantasy Flight um, artwork or painting or, or anything, you'll notice that the skin is very gray, almost bluish gray, sickly, looks like it's um, not really, not, not healthy at all. And the way I achieved that was I used Rackarth Flesh highlighted with Pallid Witch Flesh and then I shaded that with Raikland Flesh Shade mixed with Drakenhof Nightshade and um, built up from that using mainly Pallid Witch Flesh with a little bit of Ulthuan Gray for the highlights. This will, like I said, give you a very nice gray effect that um, will look good on any kind of sickly skin tone. So if you're doing zombies or uh, Dark Eldar witches or um, anything where the model has to look uh, vampires, like there's the blood has been drained from them and uh, very sickly and unhealthy, then that's a color scheme that I uh, would recommend. The arm was painted, or the sword rather, was painted with a modified version of my crystal sword technique. Instead of doing a, an evenly segmented sword, what I wanted to do was create a lot of different planes to make it look like the sword was reflecting light from a bunch of different sources, and uh, I think I achieved it. Basically, that's just the crystal sword technique of starting with Stegadon Scale Green, building up with Sotek Green, uh, Sotek yeah, Sotek Green and then Temple Guard Blue all the way up to White Scar and then shading the darker areas, the opposite areas with Drakenhof Nightshade to create a very nice transition. It takes a lot of practice but uh, it's a technique that I am sure that if you practice it enough to get comfortable then uh, it it'll make your models really pop. All right, thanks for watching, you guys. This is my, I think, day 29 video for the May Painting Challenge in June. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I hope I can show you some commando orcs tomorrow. I'm also working on uh, two separate commissions I haven't showed you guys yet. It's a Warriors of Chaos, three special character models. I'm kind of saving that one because I'm doing a little bit of... Uh, what I want to do is um, do the edit the unboxing videos for that before I show my progress with that. And I've also got some Venoms, Dark Eldar Venoms, that I want to show off. So stay tuned. Tomorrow we'll look at some orcs, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.